Hi guys. So Brandon had a good idea as we are currently making our seat, dinette, also like couch like thing that I should make a tutorial of what we're doing because I just looked at a picture, a few pictures and kind of figured it out. They have a lot of downloadable plans, but again, like I haven't seen a video that's like a step-by-step -step thing, like trying to tell you like how to actually build this. So as we go along, we're currently building our um, our bench slash sofa couch, whatever you want to call it right now. So, and I figure we're at a good point to be able to tell you what we're doing and yeah, we'll just see how it goes. <laughs> okay. So this is probably not going to make a whole lot of sense, but based on like what the length of your bench you want to be, how high you want it to be, and then the depth of how far you want it to come out are all based in, there's a number one, there's a number two, and there's a number three. So, this is just mislabeled. <laughs> so, our number one is going to be the longest piece. You're gonna have one here and one here. And you figure, if you kind of look at this one, you have like three stand-up sections. You have the two that are stationary, and then you have the one that pulls out. So now we're building our bench, and this is bigger, so we're gonna have a piece here that helps support it. So our longer pieces are gonna go here, that's gonna be our number one. And then as you can see, the number twos are gonna go one here, one on the outside, and one's gonna be here. So this is gonna be our back piece that's gonna rest up against the wall. We're creating another one, and then we take a num another piece, which is the number three that's labeled here, and these go long ways in between to hold them together to essentially create that box. So we'll show you what that looks like after. So I wanted to also note too, that on our number twos, so you'll see here the ones that go the height of it, and our number threes, the ones that are the depth, so the, that's what we'll use here, the ones that'll run this way, they're all gonna have pocket holes drilled into them to drill into the largest piece to hold them together for the structure. Okay, so this is the third part. This is the depth part, so number three right here. So we drilled them all, we laid this flat, we drilled them all in the pocket holes. Now we're going to <laughs> attempt to use this piece, remember, attempt to use this piece, back it up against here, and then drill them all in that way. So hopefully make it even. <laughs> yeah, and then that will create the stationary box. And then from there, we'll put the slats on. That's a whole another section to be put in. Okay, so we have essentially created the box piece now. Don't disregard the two top pieces right here. Those are something different. So, these are the, this is going to be like the base frame of our pull-out like couch. And so now what we're going to be creating next is we're going to be creating these slats, which I'll show afterwards because there's a piece up here that one of them connect to, and then you stagger every other that attaches to here. And then this part right here, we're gonna be creating tomorrow as well. Or well, Saturday, I guess you don't know what day it is, but <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Okay, so this is another part to the bench. So we screwed on a two by four, we attached it to the back of our already made bench. And the reason why we did this is because it's gonna be very similar to the hinges over here. It has to be, high enough to be able to attach one of the hinges so it needs to be flush all the way across so that you're able to lift it up. If you're not wanting to have it lift up, then this part is not really necessary. Okay, so what you're gonna do, so this is technically like the second part, I guess you could say, because now you're gonna be working with one by fours, um, other than the two by four that you did that you secured to the back. So you're gonna have however long it's going to be, you can consider them like one and twos again. So these are gonna be one, the longer pieces that are gonna go, you know, side to side. So you're gonna have three of them technically. So you're gonna have one up here, one this is going to move, and then this again is going to be stationary. So we kind of space them out. Um, and the reason why we have cut this one and we have this one cut is because we're gonna have a couch that's, if we just need the dinette to pull out, we'll pull that out. If we want, the couch to pull out here to I don't know make an L-shaped couch or something we have the ability to do that to do that 
And if we wanted somebody to sleep here, we'd pull everything out. So we could fit, we can accommodate two people and that's kind of what we wanted to do. So what you wanna do is you wanna space everything out to how you think it needs to be. We can always put like spacers, like you put them here so it helps like guide them out. Okay, and then once you have it spaced out to your liking, what you need, um, you'll just kind of mark it to where it is just so that you can remember later so that you can put glue or, you know, it just helps guide it easier. So what you're going to do is you're going to stagger. So the piece on the outside is going to be stationary is that, and that's what you want. So the stationary pieces are going to have screws at the top and they're going to have again in this long stationary piece here. So two here and two here and the pieces that move are going to be secured to the second long piece here and then to there'll be a spacer here but this is to the actual pull out part okay so as you can see it's completely finished and we did change a few things but I'm gonna go over that so the last part I explained was making sure you have these staggered out to your liking and so this was a, another part that we changed because we realized that there were only gonna be two supports right here for this to pull out and the only reason why that matters is because it's not cut down the middle. So this part is technically connected for where our dinette is. So this could pull out separately and this bed portion can pull out separately or it could be like an L-shaped couch or whatever you want it to be. So, okay. So when you have it screwed to where you need it to be, it's gonna be snug. And so that's kind of another point that we're gonna eventually bring up. Um, but when you have your pieces staggered, this is kind of what it'll be like. So you're gonna have your stationary pieces are like this. You're gonna have some overhang, but that's to, when it's all together to make it look like it's all one piece. So your staggering pieces, we've noticed that when you do this part right here, you're gonna have to have some kind of spacer in between because if you have them all lined up, it's not gonna come out. Like it's not gonna move at all. We already tried that, don't do it. <laughs> so when you go to slide it back in, there is probably gonna be a lot of tension at the top part up here. So what's gonna be really important is, I don't know if you can kind of see like the markings, but we did a lot of like heavy sanding so that it's easy to slide like in and out. And any moving surfaces, like this sliding along here, like you're gonna wanna sand as much down as possible as you can on those pieces so that it moves in and out easily. Okay, and so, and the, the pictures that I was going off of when we started building this, they had separate hinges for each one that was lifting, but we figured what would be easier is just to kind of, especially this is kind of like heavy duty and it's big, We'd rather just have like one big connecting piece um, all the way across, so a piano hinge. So we have the piano hinges attached to the pieces that are stationary. But remember that, let me go over here. There's a piece that runs all the way across here and there's a piece that moves. This piece, you do not drill into this, the stationary um, like frame of it because then it's not going to lift up. And if it's not a priority for it to lift up, then screw it in. But we wanted it to be able to access um, all the inside, so that's why we had it lifting and that's why we didn't screw it in. So I'm also not sure if I went over this part here, but again, if this is not a big deal for you and you want it just a big couch, then create this front frame the exact way you did the piece behind it so that it matches. So it'll lift up, it'll all pull out. The reason why we did this, and as you can see, temporary handles on all of them, is we wanted this to pull out to a dinette, this to pull out to a couch if we needed to, and each, all of them to pull out to a bed um, if we needed to. So that's why we staggered them, or that's why we did a different front frame, so that was possible. The other thing too, is I don't know if you can see this, but the piece that moves, we had to cut it down the middle or down to the section because otherwise it one wouldn't move without the other. So this is what it looks like all together, both pieces. And we're gonna slowly go through all of the 
different forms in which it can be at. So this is going to be, obviously it'll be a front piece. This is going to be a dinette for two, oh no, for four people. So you're gonna have, yeah, like you would think one, two, three, four. So this is now what it would look like if it were to pull out as a, to be a bed. We would have a table here that would eventually go down so that it could go across. And then we'd have some kind of mattress that would go across as well. If this part wasn't pulled out and we wanted it to be like a longer couch, we could always do that as well too, and not just a bed. Or a bed for a tiny person, either bed. And this is what it would look like if you wanted it to be a lounge or an L-shaped couch. And so this is what they look like now with everything up and ac you accessing your storage. So obviously they're not always going to be like this when you're accessing all of your storage. And yes, we did have to pull them out, but they will be screwed in and stationary when we eventually have everything we need, like walls up and everything else. Um, and then a good point was made is that we'll eventually like somewhere to create some kind of hook so that when you do have it up, you can attach it to something, um, you know, so that it doesn't smack you in the head when it falls back down. <laughs> but yeah. So this is our conversion set of dinette couch construction. There we go. Okay, so there we have all of the, well, the tutorial of how to make um, either the dinette or the couch or anything smaller. It just depends on your measurements and what you need. So if you have or, you know, have any questions or concerns, drop a comment. You can always message us directly if that's a thing. Or, you know, either on our Instagram as well, too. Um, if you have any other questions or if you're confused about something, I'll explain it.